morning, y'all. Happy uh, Wednesday morning. I want to welcome you to my channel, Everything Martha Crafts and More. I am excited to bring you another fall DIY, all Dollar Tree items, very inexpensive to me. I love the way that it turned out. It is a decorative cutting board, and I really, really think you're going to love it as much as I do. Thank you to my new subscribers and to all of my subscribers. I got a couple names this week on some of the people that signed up and I am going to name Formzy, Cheek to Cheek, Perfectly Imperfect, and Ashley Gillum. I know there was more, but I didn't get your name, so I'm sorry um, that I couldn't mention you, but I am really grateful that you have decided to subscribe to my channel, and I hope that you continue to enjoy my videos. I have a couple more fall DIYs coming up, and don't forget to check out my Halloween wreath, which is gonna come up soon. I think that's gonna be really fun to make. I still have yet to do that. But anyway, so um, that's it. I think that's it. I'm gonna show you how I made. First, I'm gonna show you a picture right here. In case you like the way that it turned out, you can continue to watch. It's a little French country and um, I think that's it. Thanks again. There's my little patty right there. Thanks again for watching and subscribing and for commenting. I love so much to get your comments. I hope that you continue to enjoy my videos. I hope that you will share them with your friends and family so that my uh, channel can continue to grow. I am so very grateful for that. And I hope to see you soon in my next video. Take good care and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Goodbye. So this is the decorative cutting board that I bought at Dollar Tree and it's pretty just the way that it is but we are going to make it much more special with some of these craft sticks which I bought at Dollar Tree as well and of course I'm going to use my hot glue. So let's get started. And here it is you guys, like I said it's really a cute a decorative cutting board that I bought at Dollar Tree but we all know it's not real wood and I really wanted to give it a wood look so I decided to use the wooden craft sticks from Dollar Tree. I cut them before I started and I went ahead and glued it all over the surface of this cutting board. I cut the um, craft sticks down to size, the size that I needed so that it would fit in my cutting board and it was really easy to cut just with a regular pair of scissors I was able to do that. And I'm almost done covering my decorative cutting board with wooden craft sticks. And I just have the handle to go. And then we're gonna use a little bit of paint to make this look really nice. Okay, you guys, and this is what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to get some white and antique white paint 
and I'm going to get a large size brush and I'm going to mix those two together and I'm going to paint over the wooden sticks with a light hand. And while the paint is still wet, I'm going to grab a dry paper towel and I'm going to remove some of the excess paint because I do want it to have a light layer of paint and so some of the wood would show through. Next, I'm going to grab my little bottle of gold paint mix it really well and I am going to very lightly brush some of that gold paint over the entire surface of the decorative cutting board. Very light handed on this one. Pretty much just dry brushing some of this gold paint over the entire surface and this gives it a nice wood grain effect. And I really do like the way that that turned out. Next, I had bought this really pretty pack of napkins at Dollar Tree. So I am going to go ahead and separate the two layers of the napkins and I cut out one of the pumpkins. I am going to go ahead and use some Mod Podge to um, adhere that to the surface of the cutting board. And I'm using the glossy one, so I'm going to add some of that lay the decorative paper towel over it and then I'm going to go ahead and brush one layer of Mod Podge over the entire cutting board. Okay you guys, so I'm going to lay the napkin over the Mod Podge and um, then I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to brush a layer of Mod Podge over the entire top surface of the wooden board, even over the napkin. Once it dries, you won't be able to see it and it will look like you almost hand painted the pumpkin on the wood. Okay you guys, and once that is dried, I'm going to pull out some letters that I printed on my Cricut. I saw a t-shirt on Facebook which I really loved, and I used part of the message on that t-shirt to put on this 
beautiful decorative cutting board and it's going to say fall for Jesus. I love that. Look how beautiful that pumpkin looks you guys. Next I'm going to use some fall leaf stickers that I had bought at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to scatter some of those as if they were just falling off a tree on different areas of the cutting board. I went ahead and placed the letters right in the center where the line was from the union of the cuts of the craft sticks. Now you can't even notice that there was not a complete uh, solid piece of wood. Next, I am going to be using some of those beautiful fall leaves which I had bought at Dollar Tree about a year ago and I used some of them to scatter over the top of my mantle. Well, I'm going to use three of those fall leaves and hot glue them to the bottom part of the handle where the union of the craft sticks are. Next, I'm going to cut a piece of this burlap ribbon and I am going to hot glue a small piece of that all along the edge of the handle of the decorative board. And the final touch that I will add to my decorative cutting board is going to be a little pumpkin in the center of the fall leaves and then a little bling in the center of the pumpkin and in the center of the handle where you would hang the board. Here it is all done. I hope that you like it. I think it turned out beautiful. I love it. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and place that somewhere in my kitchen. I really want to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos, for commenting and subscribing. Please take care and I hope to see you on my next one. Bye now.